All right, this is our cargo net, um, and it's one of those more challenging uh, lower ups games. Not much on like figuring out how it works because you're doing a lot of the instruction, but more so just trust and making sure your group's ready um, and making sure like they know their roles. Uh, it's a big, big issue, especially with safety. So. What you're gonna say is main rule, only two people can be in it off off the bat. Okay, we're all gonna enter in from this side, and everybody's gonna go across who wants to. So it's that whole challenge by choice thing. If they wanna do it, they can. If they don't, it's fine. <coughs> so you're gonna start off, you're gonna pull the uh, cargo net down, and you're gonna have two of your kids be lifters, okay? So probably like two of the boys, or if the girls wanna do it, that's fine. And they're gonna put their hands out like this. Now don't let the person start climbing until you have at least like three or four spotters behind them. Okay, you want a lot of people. You don't want that one girl going behind that one guy because they can take a step back. I've seen it before. So you want to have at least three or four spotters, and they're spotting dance, doing the sport, doing the spoons, not forks, you know, that whole deal. Okay, and they're gonna go up into the net. So you're gonna have two people lifting, three or four spotters, and one person pulling down the net just so it's easier for them to climb. When they first go in, you don't want them to do a direct like forward roll because also if you're doing this with like smaller kids, they might just go right through. I've seen that too they do just like a direct somersault in and go right through one of the holes. So always make sure they kind of side roll in um, and that way they won't fall out. So they're gonna go across, they're gonna have, have fun in there, they're gonna climb over to the other side, you're gonna put the next person up and after that person goes up, you're gonna come over here and make sure while they're up there they don't go to the, uh, the corners too, that's a big part. So we don't want them playing around with these carabiners up there and our system up there because that's really expensive and we don't want that broken and it's not that much fun up there anyways. So, they're gonna hang out, uh, hang out up there, and we're gonna go all the way over here, and you're gonna start getting kids down. So you should always have at least two in there at a time. Um, and when you do have two, obviously you're gonna come over here and you're gonna do a takedown, okay? So one kid's gonna come over here, and you're gonna start out by saying, okay, it's like doing a pull-up. Um, so you're gonna go up to these ropes, and grab them like you're doing a pull-up, and they're gonna bring their belly button up to the top of the rope, okay? So, before they even, think about getting out, you're going to explain to the rest of your team, and probably even before they even get in the net, you're going to explain the whole takedown process. But you're going to have like half of the kids available all with their arms out like this, and the other half like this, just standing like facing each other. And then you're going to be the one right here with the person, supporting the head as they fall down, because they're just going to do a complete flip out of uh, the cargo net. They're not going to jump, they're not going to leap, but they're going to roll, they're going to roll over the top of the net. So they're going to come up, do a pull up, bring their belly button up to it. So they might have to step up a couple times. Some people will get nervous. Some people start shaking. So you want to like, let them know like, it's like, that's what they want to do is keep on stepping up. It might feel like a lot of their body is going out of the net, but it's important to make sure that their belly button's right here because it'll make the flip a lot easier. Some people have a lot of trouble if they're standing down here and try and flip because they can't flip and they struggle. So make sure, step up here, bring your belly button to the top of the rope, and they're going to start flipping out very slowly. Now a big thing when they're flipping out is, with the kicks, a lot of people just flare a little legs. So you wanna make sure that people down here are aware of the fact that the feet are coming. Cause I've seen people, you know, almost get hit in the face because the person flipping kind of like kicked their foot or something like that. Um, make sure they're aware of that. Some people might wanna like, you know, cover their face or something like that, but always be aware that like, the people spotting can't just be like dazing off, you know? Like they can't be like looking off in the distance cause that's how the injury happens. So they're gonna roll out their feet are going to come first, everyone's going to catch their feet, and you're going to support the back and the head. All right, and you're going to lift down slowly, and when she has her feet on the ground, that's when you let go of the back and head. Always make sure, like, you know, you're not, like, quenching onto her, her, like, the back of her hair, but you want to just gently, like, lower them down. You're always the one supporting the head and the back, none of the campers. And once she's supported and there's one person left, you go do the same thing until everyone else is out. And that is the cargo net.